Hey guys, welcome to your singles love reading for Scorpio uh, for your May 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Um, so we're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love, okay? Um, or just what's going on with you guys in general. We'll take a look and see what your blocks and challenges are in finding love. And then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, if there's anyone new coming towards you. Apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements. Uh, keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective. Um, Scorpio people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on one of my new videos post and one I go live, all right? So tell me about single Scorpios. What's going on with single Scorpio people? What's going on with single Scorpio people? For May 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for single Scorpios. Tell me about single Scorpios. Tell me about single Scorpios. You have the Emperor, Aries energy. You might have Aries energy in your chart, okay? Could be dealing with another Aries, past, present, future here. Seems like you're in deep contemplation here, okay? Or that, you know, it could be a situation that you're trying to avoid somebody here, avoid someone here that creates illusions here, Scorpio, okay? But you could be in your emotions, in your head a lot, just in contemplation, just trying to figure things out because you could be confused about a situation here, okay? It could be that, you know, with the Seven of Cups, you might have a lot, you know, you might have Ten of Wands here in the Four of Cups, you might have a lot on your plate. Yeah, it, it could be that you're you're releasing a lot of unexpressed emotions here that you've been keeping in. You know, it could be, you know, past hurts, you know, that you've uh, dealt with that you never really, you know, healed from, you know? Um, it just seems like energy that's trapped with, within your physio physiology needs to be moved at this time or that you, you are moving it, okay? You have the Seven of Swords here and the Knight of Pentacles here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, I'm getting is that, you know, with the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Pentacles, there could be someone here that's coming back in towards you. There could be someone here that's chasing you here. Whoever this is, this is a past person that really disappointed you. I do feel like this is a past person that's coming in with some sort of an apology, but this person creates a lot of illusions, okay? You know, you could be realizing that, you, you, you could be having this realization that this person that you've been dealing with, you know, for a while now, you know, they, they could be a bit delusional, okay? Tell me about the Emperor here. Why is the Emperor here? We have the Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Cups here, and the Chariot. You know, one of the things I feel like you're working really hard on moving away from this. So I feel like you're trying to gain this willpower, you know, you're trying to work on finding that drive to step away from someone. And I feel like it's been a really difficult process. I feel like you really matured and grew up through this process here. So there's a sense of not wanting to go back, okay? The Ten of Wands here. Why is the Ten of Wands here? King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini here. Four Cups and the Seven of Wands here. Yeah, one of the things I'm feeling like whoever is going to come back here, I feel like you're going to tell this person off. You're going to tell them it's over, okay? And I feel like you're going to block them or that you already have. King of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Yeah, so I feel like you're moving on. You're moving on from the past situation here, uh, Scorpio. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What else do we have here for Scorpio? Oh shoot. What else do we have here for Scorpio? Blocks and challenges that single Scorpios are facing and finding love for May 2023. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for single Scorpios. Three of Swords and the Five of Wands. The uh, Strength card and the Three of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords here and the Five of Swords. Someone here that broke your heart. I, I do feel like it, it's this past person that's coming in. Yeah, 
it's like it's almost like this is someone that you don't bother but i feel like this person consistently bothers you okay three of swords here five of wands this is so interesting one of the narratives that this person's create, creating is that the reason why that this person hurt you is because it was your fault you know that you made them do it or something like that okay this person's coming in very pissed off for no reason at all they're coming in pissed off because they're pissed off that you've see them for who they are as a person here okay you know but also at the same time their intentions are to work things out here with you they're definitely gaslighting you here trying to make it look like they're they're basically flip, flipping the script on you but it's not working it's not going to work it is not going to work queen of swords here and the five of swords here uh, libra aquarius gemini strength card leo energy three of swords here and the knight of wands aries leo sagittarius energy the five of wands here and the death card here scorpio energy basically this person's okay not okay that you ended things with them yeah one of the things i i feel like one of the reasons why this person might be coming back is because maybe the sex is really good with them or something like that this person's looking for some sexy time here the death card here scorpio energy the strength card the queen of pentacles capricorn taurus virgo the three of pentacles here and the fool card here whoever this is i do feel like this person might be a bit of a fool yeah i mean they could do all they want i mean they could you know change their outfits change their mask whatever that may be but i feel like this time it's not working yeah it, may, it might have worked in the past but it just seems like yeah it just seems like there's an energy that this person keeps bothering you but you're not bothering this person so if this person keeps bothering you the best thing that you could do is ignore this person and eventually this person will go away because you're you're they're getting nothing out of you you know what i mean so um the knight of cups here and the uh, queen of swords three of wands and the five of swords here whoever this person is this person tends to future fake a lot it's like they're trying to like you know sweet talk you they're trying to be a bit of a smooth operator here trying to win you back you know shower you with gifts but it just never really sticks yeah Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Uh, what else does single Scorpio need to know? Look out for work on. Is there any new love coming towards single Scorpio's way for May 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for single Scorpios. We have the King of Pentacles and the Lovers. We have the Queens of the King of Pentacles here. Okay, we have the Eight of Swords here and the Six of Swords and the Four of Swords here and the Ace of Wands. Yeah, one of the things I'm getting here is that I just, you know, even though you have a strong soul connection or that you have a strong bond with this individual, you know, I just feel like you're, you're going to decide to end things with this person, move on, because there's just too much fear. There's just too much paranoia. You won't be able to trust this individual anymore. So I just feel like the whole dynamics of the situation has completely changed. Yeah, you're disengaging. You're focusing on your uh, on new beginnings here, focusing on your passions here. It could be that, you know, you just want to, for now, you know, you're not looking for a relationship, but for now, you just want to go out there and have fun. You know, uh, perhaps, you know, have a, a one night stand from time to time, you know, have getting some sexy time, meet new people, you know, the King of Pentacles here in the sun, Leo energy, the lovers here in the high priestess here, Cancer Pisces. So one of the things I'm getting here is that, you know, you're happy without this person, you know, you're realizing that you are, you know, loving yourself. You're, you're, you're just in this energy of like loving yourself and really trusting your intuition here regarding this person. The High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Eight of Swords here and the Empress, Libra, Taurus here, Four of Pentacles here and the Six of Swords. You know, I, I feel like the Devil card should be out because it's, this person pretends to be, uh, you know, uh, someone that they're not. And I feel like this pretending just doesn't last. So I feel like you've gotten different multifaceted, you know, uh, you know a presentation of this person's image just changing yeah um so tell me about the four swords the star card eight of wands and the king of wands here aries leo sagittarius energy yeah you're just focusing on your healing focusing on moving on from this yeah i do feel like this feminine energy is like this energy is all over the place yeah i, I could see why the seven of the cups is there you're just confused by this individual so Scorpio, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.